Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to our brand new series, Smart Farming for Grand Company Seals. A series where I help you guys farm Grand Company Seals outside of the norm. Now, thanks to Endwalker, they have changed a couple things to the loot system for extreme trials and raids. Since they took out belts, they kind of changed how the raid loot works. And also, they had changed how Extreme Trial loot works. Instead of giving you a random weapon, they give you a random weapon plus a weapon coffer, which you can use on any job to get said weapon of you choosing. Now, ultimately, what you're going to be doing is using your Paladin on those weapon coffers to get a sword and shield to get double your Grand Company seals. Also, make sure that you have, at all times, the seal sweetener ability. This will increase your seals gained through actions that give you Grand Company seals. Alright, so there's two ways to do this. One, Ravana Extreme, and two, Alexander the Eight Man Raid from Heaven's Ward. Now, I've already had videos on how to unlock the Alexander Raid and Ravana Extreme. Now, the time that it takes you to defeat these depends on your job, your item level, and the knowledge of your job. So, as a Dragoon main, I can do both of these fights with under two minutes. Okay? The stronger your gear is, the faster and easier it is to do these fights. So I'm currently using the Radiant Tombstone set with melds, with a couple of classical gear for accessories. All right, so as the expansion goes on, you get stronger gear, you get faster, stronger, and you'll be able to do these a little bit easier. Some jobs might take a little bit longer, but if you're a melee, you basically have the best of both worlds. You have power and speed. So first thing we're going to do is Ravana. Now this is the slower part of this, but it's the thing that kickstarted this video basically. So if you can kill Ravana before he jumps, then you can do this under a minute. Otherwise, you're just going to have to wait for he comes back down and becomes targ targetable again, and then you can finish it off. So make sure you come up to the gear icon up here and turn on unrestricted. This allows you to do content by yourself. Now you will be getting the echo buff and the super echo buff from doing this as well. Which makes you stronger and more capable of taking more hits because your HP is so high. Alright, so if you take your time, he'll do his unseeing or all-seeing wing, left or right, which puts up a barrier depending on what he chooses. If you hit by said barrier, you get hit with slow. If you damage him too quickly, he'll just go into his prelude to liberation. This is what causes this to be over a minute kill time. If you can kill him before this, then you can do it under a minute. And I've only did that once, because I was able to get him to do his seeing wing attack. Other than that, you just wait for him to come back down and continue wailing on him. Alright, so it takes me a little bit over a minute to do it, and then you pick up your treasure. Now, if you get a sword and shield, that's a bonus. Other than that, you'll get a weapon, sometimes a mount if you're lucky, his personal item, which is his hive wing, and some music. And of course, one token. Once you get three tokens, then you can go to Isleshire and get a shield of your choosing, or a weapon if you have ten. For paladins, seven for a sword, and then three for a shield. But ultimately, the quickest is to get three and then get a shield. 
So after you kill Ravana, switch over to a Paladin or a Gladiator. And then use said coffer. And then you get two for the price of one. Then you pass in all three. The boxes do not stack, unfortunately. But if you put one in your Chocobo saddle, then you can go right back in and get another. So with the seal sweetener, we get 1203 Grand Company seals per turn in. So that's Ravana. Now the problem is you have to take the time to use the coffer, switch back to your main job, turn them in, and then go back in. And that takes time. So the other way of doing it is the Alexander raid. Now the quickest one is going to be Fist of the Father. You also can do the Burden of the Sun, which is against Brute Justice, which I can do within two minutes. And then you also have the Eyes of the Creator from the last part of Alexander, which is going to be this right here. But the Fist of the Father is the easiest to do. You will get two accessories and then one leg piece one body piece, one hand piece, one head piece, and one foot piece. So which means with every Alexander kill you get two accessories per kill, and then every two kills you would be able to get a hand piece, a head piece, and a foot piece, and every fourth kill you'd be able to pick up the body and the leg. So with the Faust, try not to use all your GCDs or OGCDs because you want to save some for the boss. So I usually just use my jump, your Skogel, Spine Shatter, and then True North to get my positionals to be hitting at max, and then use at least one Life Surge in case of Dragoons. If Faust wasn't here, it would be a bit quicker, unfortunately. And then we need to kill the Oppressor, wait for his twin to come out, then kill the Oppressor twin, and then end the fight. Once you see the enemies list over there have two, the oppressor 0.5 will take the HP of the original boss as its own. Alright, so it usually takes me like a minute 40 to do this on Dragoon, but I managed to do it in a minute 39. So the removal of belts, they have changed the loot for this fight. So you will get one bolt, one pedal, one crank and one lens from the first treasure chest, and then one bolt spring shaft lens from the second. So you will get one headpiece and then two bolts per kill. Then every second kill, like I said, you get a handpiece and then a footpiece. And every fourth kill, you get the body and then a leg piece. So you're walking away with three pieces of gear every kill. Then five pieces every second kill. And then you get the full Monty on the fourth kill. But you always are going to be gaining accessories. Alright, so it takes you about... Depends if you can do it within a minute 40. It should take you around 23 to 25 minutes to get the full 90,000 Grand Company seals. If you're doing the Fist of the Father. With the seal sweetener up. Alright, so I got 10 lenses, 5 shafts, 5 cranks, 5 springs, 5 pedals, and 10 bolts since I kind of did this the day before. So you need to do at least 18 kills of Fist of the Father to get yourself 90,000 Grand Company Seals. Well, when you do 18 kills, you get 99,000 Grand Company Seals, so I'd say around 18 kills to 17. 
All right, so now what you can do, instead of going to Idleshire, you can go to the foundation, because you'll be going to the vendor that can give you the pieces. All right, and it's gonna cost you a little bit of uh, 261 uh, gil to transfer there. But since I have eight the right tickets, I don't have to pay a damn thing. All right, so from the main Aetherite, you come over here, talk to the Sundry Splendors, pick your category, so I'm gonna go with tanks first, and then pick Prototype Gordian Gear, I'm level 190. And then you'll pass in your loot. Now, when you do this 18 times, you're gonna have to come back here again because you don't have enough room for all of the headpieces because you're going to put some in your chocobo saddle and then the rest will be in your inventory because you get so many headpieces you're not going to have enough room you're going to come back here at least twice all right so that is all of the gear that i have so far so as you can see here all this loot We'll go straight into your green company. All right, and that's just the small smidge of it. You can see my inventory if I had all 18 kills. <laughs> You'd be like, holy crap. All right, so now we take our Aetherite ticket back to our grand company, and then we'll pass all the stuff in. All right, so here we are back at my grand company. So I have about 20 seals left over. All right, so starting from here, we are going to be getting 1203 for each one. And the last piece. So we got 25,283. And like I said, this wasn't even the full 18 kills. So this is also a great way to rank up in your free company because you need your free company to get to a certain rank to get housing, which is probably the ultimate goal for a lot of free companies. But this will help you guys rank up in your free company while gaining some points as well. All right. So I showed you guys Ravana and then I showed you guys the Fist of the Father. Like I said, you can also do the Burden of the Sun to do Brute Justice takes me about two minutes then you also can do the eyes of the creator which can take you up to two minutes depending on your job so guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful any comments questions and or concerns please put them in the comment section down below i've been more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more final fantasy 14 content and join the first brood as a reminder make sure you turn that notification bell on so you guys never miss an upload and follow me or join my discord server by hitting the world icon on my youtube banner i also have youtube memberships available for anybody who wants to support me further both are completely optional so until next time be forever walk in the glorious light of lord bahamut and always remember to keep forging ahead